Hey Canucks fans, big news as the Vancouver Canucks have placed Louis Erickson on waivers. So I'm going to do my bigger vlog a little bit later today, talk about training camp, Travis Hamanick, talk about my live stream tonight, which I'm so excited about. Make sure you join me at 10 p.m. for a brand new look and a brand new feel. But right now, speaking of brand new look, the Canucks have placed six players on waivers for the purposes of assignment. Now we don't know if these guys are going to be taxi squad guys. We don't know if these guys are going to go to Utica proper. But it's basically the, the players that won't make the 23-man roster who need to clear waivers. So these are professional players, players with either NHL or a lot of HL experience, a certain number of years. And you can see that from the names that are on there. So it's Ju uh, Justin Bailey, it is Sven Berchi, Guillaume Brisebois, Louis Erickson, Tyler Gravac, and Ashton Sautner. Again, Bailey, Berchi, Brisebois, Erickson, Gravac, and Sautner. So two defensemen in Brisebois and Sautner and four forwards in Bailey, Berchi, Erickson, and Gravac. So like I said, this is big news from a standpoint of the Canucks are basically saying these guys are not going to be on the opening night roster. Erickson's the biggest surprise on there. And of course, people are wondering, well, how much does that save? No, you don't save $6 million in cap hit, but you do save about a million dollars with him going down, being demoted. And that million dollars could go to Travis Habenick, although as we know, the Canucks have kind of earmarked some Michael Furlan long-term injury reserve money for Travis Havnick. But the point is, you do save a million dollars of salary cap uh, room uh, by having Louis Erickson not on the team. So that's the that's the biggest thing. And so guys that either going to junior or back to college, guys. So guys that won't make the team but don't have to clear waivers. We didn't see their names on the list. Guys like. Uh, Tevez or Wu or Lockwood or any of those guys at the same time um, yeah and even guys like Rafferty and Chatfield maybe um, it sounds like those guys don't have to go on waivers yet either or they they will a bit later but but really um, to me th this is a sign that these obviously these six players will not be uh, part of the Canucks plans their main roster plans at least so again they could be taxi squad players some of them they could be Utica proper they uh, they could be outright released but I, I doubt that I think that's a little harsh but you never know but the point is that Louis Erickson um, it's taken uh, five years and I don't you know I'm not making fun of the guy but uh, a lot of people have wanted to see this move done for a while the other five have been up and down between the Canucks and Utica before in Berchi Bailey, Gravac, Breezeball, and Sautner. But Louis Erickson is the biggest name on here. And then we'll see what happens with these guys, if any of them do indeed clear waivers in the next 24 hours. And then we'll see what happens with the rest of the Canucks roster. And it, it sounds like um, anyone else who doesn't make the team but is on the taxi squad or in Utica, I guess they don't have to clear waivers. Otherwise, they would have been put on this list today. All right, let's see what happens. Canucks fans, leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply. And look for a bigger vlog from me later today, just after lunch. In the meantime, have a great day. God bless, and go Canucks, go.